Hey fragrance lovers and enthusiasts, welcome to my channel. My name is Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel and today I'm going to be answering two big questions for you. Do my fragrances expire and what is actually going on as fragrances go bad? So first off, will my fragrance expire or when will it expire? The simple answer is you don't need to worry. I know a lot of people often worry about this. They worry about their fragrances because you've invested so much money into them. Your fragrances, your colognes, your perfumes are luxury goods a lot of the times, and some of them cost hundreds of dollars. So uh, that's a big consideration. You know, fragrances, uh, the simple truth is that they're not going to go bad anytime soon. There's still people who are buying fragrances from the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, and they're still good. You know, people still wear them and enjoy them. What is going to actually happen to your fragrance over time is what you need to be considered about and actually how you can prevent or slow that actual aging process. So the short answer is don't be worried. Your fragrances are not going to be bad in 10 years or 5 years. And if you bought a fragrance from a discounter that actually meant legally that, you know, uh, you know, some companies and some, you know, governments actually put an expiration date on the fragrance and they can only have a fragrance in stock for, I don't know, a year and a half to three years. So it really, if your fragrance came from, you know, the gray market or discounters, your fragrance could already be five to 10 years old, but it's been stored properly. It's been sealed and nothing's wrong with it. So what happens when you actually unseal the fragrance, take it out of the box and spray it as that happens? your fragrance is naturally going to be subjected to light. It, keep your fragrances out of direct sunlight, of course, and out of the heat. Those are going to be the two biggest killers of your fragrance. But as time goes on, the, you're going to first notice that the volatile, citrus, floral, fresh notes, the, the top notes of your fragrance, are going to start to evaporate out of your fragrance. At first, it's actually going to be quite pleasant because alcohol is probably going to be the first thing that really goes out of your fragrance, and you really won't have to deal with as much alcohol. Your fragrance will seem to last longer, and your fragrance will actually feel better, at least in my experience, or in my opinion as well. But as time goes on, you're going to lose those fresher notes on the top, and you're, then you're going to be left with the mids and the base of your fragrance. Now, that's not a terrible thing, but as time continues to go on, then, you know, things naturally start to decompose, and that's the problem. But again, there's people who buy and wear fragrances from the 60s. So this, this is a quick, short video. You really don't need to worry about your fragrances going bad. Keep your fragrances out of the sunlight. Keep them in a closet. Keep them in a cupboard. Or, you know, keep them just out of direct sunlight, out of the window. You don't want your fragrances to subject to the sunlight. Uh, if you don't know about, you know, uh, UV damage, you know, just think of sunburns. It damages plenty of things. It can bleach wood. It can make the blackest of substances crumble like plastics turn into dust over time. Uh, you know, as well as the heat. Uh, if you take hot, steamy showers, that's really going to damage your fragrances. Keeping your fragrances in the bathroom is not a good idea. There's constant temperature changes, and you're probably in and out, and there's lots of movement. You want your fragrances in the most stable situation as possible. Some people actually buy refrigerators dedicated to fragrances. You don't need to go that far. That's pretty extreme. Your closet is fine enough, and I actually suggest that you keep your fragrances in the box. This is going to keep your fragrances protected from the sunlight even more and it'll keep the temperature around the fragrance more stable. If you keep your fragrances in the box, your fragrances are going to last a long, long time. Also, for me personally, whenever I open the box, I feel like it's a more of a special experience. It's like a ritual where, you know, this fragrance actually, you know, I have to intentionally open the fragrance and, you know, decide to actually wear the fragrance. To me, it's more meaningful. I know some people do not like boxes and they throw them away. If you're buying a high-end fragrance, especially a niche fragrance, the presentation is meant to be kept. It's not meant to be thrown away and it'll help your fragrance actually last longer. Now, another thing to consider as I wrap up this video is that your citrus fragrances are not going to last as long or your bright fragrances or any fragrance with a lot of top notes is not going to last as long as fragrances, you know, that are darker and deeper and have more of the mid notes or the base notes. A fragrance like this one, for example, Caligna has a beautiful Frangipani off the top. 
It's beautiful. It has some fig, some light fruity fig, and it has some really beautiful top notes on it. It has some citrus, any any fragrance that has those type of notes, or maybe it's a citrus focused fragrance. Even aquatic fragrances might not last as long and have as long of a storage, you know, a shelf life as something like a heavy tobacco, a leather, or a patchouli or anything like that. So just know that not only will your top notes go away, but if your fragrance is all citrus, it's slowly just going to go away, uh, you know, a lot faster than something like, for example, here's Wonder Oud by Comme des Garçons. This is mostly just a deep, dark, uh, semi-smoky, uh, you know, maybe a slightly inky, modern, synthetic oud. This is going to last forever, especially with the dark bottle. Dark bottles will help your fragrance last longer. If you have a dark bottle, you don't need to worry as much as the clear bottle as regarding to sunlight damage if you leave something like this with a clear beautiful crystal bottle in direct sunlight it's going to be a lot more susceptible to damage in comparison with the dark you know the bottle that will, will protect it i even keep this one in the box even if it is a dark bottle because i want my fragrances to last longer if you have hundreds of fragrances some of these guys out there have 500 some guys even have 500 fragrances your fragrances really you need to protect them uh, I, because you know every time you want you wear your fragrance you want it to be a beautiful experience and you want your fragrance to be you know as good as it was the last time so hopefully this video helped y'all out this is how you're going to keep your fragrances let to last forever maybe last for the last for the rest of your life if you have over 20 30 40 50 fragrances you probably have as much fragrance as you need to for the rest of your life so i hope that you enjoyed this video today i hope that it was very helpful please forgive the dogs this happens i record live and uh this video hopefully was exactly what you needed and exactly what you wanted you know I'll see you next time, my friends. Keep your fragrances fresh. Keep your fragrances smelling excellent. And I hope you smell excellent out there. Wear what you love. Smell great, my friends. Wear what you love. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out and bye.